Hello all, it's Melinda, and this is my third and final layout from the crop. And I'm showing you right now that I picked this photo, and it, I've had this idea for a while because of the light ribbons that are coming off these lights from the football game made me think that I wanted to extend these from the photos and sew these lines and then use some stars to hang off of them. So I'm just going to draw my lines in a little bit better. And I needed to add some extra ones because there was some blank space. So I'm just kind of penciling these in. And I'm completely winging this. And I'm chatting with my daughter for a title because this is her and her friend. I'm going to border the photo with some scraps. And then that tissue paper that's right there. But I want to bring some color. And I decide that the color I'm going to bring is... I believe it's an Amy Tan paper. I could be wrong. But it's uh, aqua with navy stars on it. And I gotta figure that out before I bring my sewing machine out. This is where I'm trying to see if I want to do this one. These came in my, these papers that I'm using right here came in my um, Secret Not Secret Kit Club for last month. And these are the few that I have still a whole page of. So I'm going to, I'm going to gut this one so that I have um, the inside to use. And I just cut it at, I start the, the, Thing at 1 and move it to the 11 and then plunge it in again for the next one. And I'm going to cut this at 11 and a half by 11 and a half so that I have just a um, like a quarter inch border all the way around. Now when I'm home I'm a little more careful about this today at the crop. I just kind of plop it down and it's a little off and I try to peel it off and I think nope forget it it'll be okay um, I think right now I'm plugging yeah I'm getting my sewing machine out and I don't the sewing machine has to go right underneath the camera so you can't see anything so I've sewn it in a gold and a white thread and this is why I'm going to border it with another thin color just to bring the color from the outside into the inside I'm also trying to keep up with my two um, online crops that are going on while I was at the crop. Now I'm going to trim this up so it's a little bit tighter to the photo so I'm not taking up so much space. Now my goal is to have this sitting right here where the lines in the photo extend to the lines of the sewing the sewn lines but before I'm done it gets shifted down and it doesn't end up looking exactly how I want it but it does work I'm just going to erase what I can see of the pencil lines and I'm jotting down title ideas I decide that these solid stars, they remind me of the um, gold stickers, star stickers you get when you were in school, but they're metal. And I decide to sprinkle them around. And then these open stars, I got some in my um, Secret Not Secret Kit Club. And then I went ahead and found some more. Um, I don't even sure where now, maybe on Etsy. And I ordered some, so I have a few extra now. And I'm just going to. I'm going to end up sewing those on 
I'm going to try to get, I want to do a little bit of layering off to the one side of the photo. And I'm thinking I'm going to stick with the navy, dark blue, and aquas. I'm just going to kind of go through. I've got some of my ephemera sorted by color and some of my ephemera sorted by type, uh, stars, butterflies, that kind of thing. Um, I noticed lately that I have not been going to the ephemera as much that's sorted by type, but more by color. So I might have to convert, but I might just leave some. I'm debating on whether I want to put something off each corner, and I quickly nix that. That um, ticket is from the Carousel Collection from Maggie Holmes. I absolutely love those tickets. I bought two sheets of that ticket paper and have one still together and one I cut up and, and mixed up with my colors because I tend to want to pull them out a lot. That's the three tickets that are or the three labels that are going to stay there. I wonder if I'm going to put some down here. And that would be would have been fine, but they don't end up staying. I bought very little flare badges, but I do have this one that says love as long as you live. And I thought that was I thought that was applicable applicable to their friendship. I'm just pulling out some thickers and letter stickers that I have. I don't take everything that I have, so I try to pick the ones I'm most likely to use when I go to a crop. And these ones from One Canoe 2 called Hazel, I absolutely love them. I went ahead and bought two extra packs so I would have enough. I decide that I'm going to title this Chemic Sisters because that is their high school. And this was at one of their high school football games. This is from Hip Kit. And it was just the perfect color. And I try to figure out whether I want the the title to be centered or if I want to put it over here on the labels so I just kind of play around a little bit ultimately I and this is how it ends up looking basically just like that without the stars I decided that I think I need some color in the ribbons and I picked this up at Michael's on clearance and they're reinforcers by Heidi Swap for her planners and this minty green one was perfect so I went ahead and put them here and there they kind of just look like rings I thought they would work I was trying to avoid putting sequins on there and I thought this would work better. I used one whole sheet of that color. I bought um, a few sheets. The, I thought these would be good to reinforce my tags that I use often. So, And I'm still sticking with the stars down there. I'm going to put this down. And like I said, I put it down in the wrong spot. See, the ribbons don't line up. I did move it up a little bit but there's not perfect I decide that I'm gonna put the chemic right on the photo because it's just their legs and it's okay I kind of wanted that that flare badge to be part of the title but it just wouldn't work out I'm pulling out some gold thread in a needle. I'm not sure why I didn't end up putting the stars down there. I think I ended up misplacing one at the time and put them on the photo instead. I don't know. 
I'm going to use my hot glue gun to put down the little metal stars. It seemed to be the fastest way to get them down. I've struggled with these metal pieces to uh, how to get them to stay. My thought was that I wanted them to look like they were dangling off. The thing I don't like about hot glue is all the strings. Wipe all the strings away. Now I'm going to have to punch these, and this is a oh, Amy Tan punch. The pad is, and this is just my tool that I use to poke holes. And I end up poking more holes than I need because I decide not to, to let them just, I only sew them at the top. Here I am sewing. So it's just a, basically a loop. And I wanted them so they kind of look like they hang. And sometimes they move around when the layout moves around. I started out just by tying it. I normally just tape it off, but this thin, thin thread, it, it didn't think the tape would hold it for long term, so I tied it. And I don't make you watch me do all of these. But I just do one like loop. And I decide that I want to add these two to the photo. And I'm trying to see whether I want a third one. I'm not sure if that the bright light in the center is distracting or if I should put a star on it. I ended up leaving it and add those two stars. I gotta figure out these tags. I have sprinkled with gold down in the bottom. I'm going to write my journaling. It just says Courtney and Meg, Friday night, football game under the lights, October 2017. Make sure nothing falls off. I'm going to show you some slow close-ups. And I've sprinkled around in there at the top and a little bit at the bottom. The lighting's just a little bit off because of the bright light right there. But that does it. Thanks for watching. This is the last layout of the ones I did at the crop that I have videos for. I will be doing a video to show you all 10 of the layouts that I did at the crop as a kind of like a recap before I get into my regular stuff and videos again. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.